everyone welcome back to our channel this video is a different video because we're going to be going through my nail polish collection and at the same time decluttering that collection I'm doing this video because I want to go through the nail polishes that I have I tend to kind of just reach for the same ones because um, they're close and I have them nearer and I just grab them but I wanted to kind of see what I have in the collection so that I could be able to kind of rotate them a little more and at the same time get rid of ones that I don't use already or just the formulas that I don't like within the collection. And to make it fun, on my Instagram I posted if you guys would like to watch the declutter or watch the swatches and you guys chose the declutter. So um, let's get right into this video and declutter some nail polishes. Okay, so all of these are my top coat, base coat, and glitter nail polishes. Except this one, this is actually like an oil, cuticle oil treatment. This is the Selly Hansen Dries Instantly Top Coat. Uh, you got Defy and Inspire Wear Resistant Nail Lacquer. And then you have Selly Hansen Miracle Gel Top Coat. This is actually somewhat newer. It's a Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Mattifying Top Coat. Sally Hansen Big Peel Off Base Coat. This is pretty cool because, um, I don't know, it makes me feel like a little girl when I use that because you can peel off your nail polish when you're done using it. Then you have Sally Hansen Shine 3D Top Coat. And do you guys notice that I like Sally Hansen? <laughs> Here's another Sally Hansen extreme wear uh, like it's like a clear glitter so this one I think I might have gotten in like an ipsy bag glitter top coat and then you have like a Sally Hansen hard as nails it's like a diamond clear polish and then you got Zoya and pixie dust pink super cute top coat glitter and then you got Sally Hansen Insta Dry. The Insta Dry collections are my favorite because, well, they dry instantly. Go figure. And this is actually called, it's newer, and it's called Shooting Star. So, no oil. Oh, declutter time. This is the hard part. This is the hard part, babe. <laughs> I actually haven't used this one in a long time, so I think I want to keep it. We'll keep that. We'll hang on to that. This no polish doesn't really work the way I want it to work. It um, it it almost makes me feel like the nail looks old or something. So we'll just get rid of this guy. I think I still want to use this one. I have a thing for like keeping gifts, and this was a gift, so I'm gonna keep that. I really do like the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. They work really nice for me. The mattifying is super new, I just kind of got that, and I really like the way it works. The base, peel off, it's kind of fun to have, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Sally Hansen Shine 3D Top Coat, we're going to we're gonna just get rid of that or give it away. I don't really use it. Cuticle oil, um, I've had it for a while, don't really use it so we'll get rid of this one um insta dry that's yes girl what you doing I can like you thinking about it okay this one we're keeping and we'll keep these yep so from this collection of base and top coats I have decluttered three Alright ladies, this is my whites and nudes and pastel batch. I guess with the exception of this one. But anyways, that was the little bucket I had it in. So let's get started. We have the white nail art, which we already know. What are we doing? Say it with me. Goodbye. We're getting rid of the nail arts. Then we have Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. This is white on. You have Essie and Sweet Souffle, very marshmallowy and glimmery. It's a very, I don't know, it just gives me a ballerina vibe of a white. Kind of elegant, super cute. And then we have the Sally Hansen Complete Salon in Sheer Ecstasy. 
This is very milky, I would say. Um, I'm not sure about this one, actually. I don't reach for it too much. I like the idea of it, but it's just too milky. Well, we'll think about that. We'll think about this one. And then we have the Instadrag collection, of course, in Sandstorm. Simple colors in Unicorns Are Real. This is a pretty color. If this was an Instagram post, it would be the kind of post that would have like the clappy hands in every sentence. This is. Um, but yeah, Unicorns Are Real. Beautiful color. Love it, love it, love it. Instadrag collection. This is going to be Heather Hustle. Instadrag collection. They updated their packaging, and I'm pretty sure the formula too. Um, Petal Pusher. Okay, this one's new to my collection. It looks beautiful. I haven't tried it, but come on. This is called Tease. Super cute. This one is Paparazzi with Quiet on the set. Very milky. I love it. And then we have the Instadry Crayola collection. This is called Apricot. Instadry. This is Mobbit. Instadry, of course. This is Lovely Lilac. And you know what? Sometimes I look at it and I think I wanna I wanna say bye to that one. I just I want a different shade of purple and every time I wear this I always always get a compliment. So I'm just gonna keep it because it seems to be a favorite. And even though it's not exactly my favorite, I think it's a nice color to have anyways. Okay, we're gonna go over to paparazzi and I almost just wanna name this one and name it banana. Doesn't that look like a banana color? I love, love this shade. They, the paparazzi lines, they wear very nice and I just, I love the color. I can't say bye. This is called Butter Him Up. Simple colors in liquid gold. Usually when you see these colors, you kind of think that you're going to put it on and it's going to come out sheer and it's just a glaze. But this color, it actually comes out the way it looks on the bottle, which I was so surprised and very happy with and especially happy with the price. So this is JLB. I actually bought this one like in a package at Ross. It came with other ones that... I don't have any more, but this is beautiful. I think I'm gonna hang on to it just a little bit more. The holidays are coming, and this is called Four. <laughs> That's what it's called, it's called Four. And let me see, I'm not sure if I'm getting rid of anything, honestly. I've decided that I'm not gonna say bye to this one and I actually like the entire collection. I don't know if it's just because what I personally incline to or that's just kind of what's in right now, but I like them all. So from here, the drastic change. I've only decluttered one. <laughs> and in this collection, I'm keeping 15 polishes. Okay, so here we have my pinks to deep purples. Um, plummy collections with red and going into some orange and let's get started. This is the Insta Dry, of course I would have it. This is Sugar Poppy. This is Kiss, it's nail art. Insta Dry in Peachy Breeze. Salon Perfect Nail Art Neon. This is Essie with Madison Avahue. That's actually what I have on my nails right now. This is Sally Hansen. Sally Hansen Instadry Peppy Le Fuchsia. This is the Instadry Flashy Fuchsia. Then we have Rimmel London Pulsating. This one actually works like it says it's advertised as 60 seconds dry and it actually dried super fast. I love it. Um, this is gonna be Sally Hansen in the Instadry collection in Cherry Fast. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last in Through the Grapevine. Sally Hansen Instadry Just in Wine. And this is the Pure Ice All Nighter. And then we have Essie, super cute. This is Come Here. And then this is Sinful Colors in Shine Annie. Wet and Wild, the name of this one is actually just red. 
This is a Kiss nail art. And you have the Insta Dry Sun Kissed. No, this is Insta Dry Sally Hansen Insta Dry Fast Lane. Then you got the Extreme Nail Wear in Sun Kissed. Paparazzi and Carmela Latte. And this one I got in an Ipsy bag and it does not have a name. Okay, so right off the bat, I'll tell you that ever since I got the bag, I've never used this polish, so goodbye. I think this is really cute. On the nail, it's such a beautiful color. I don't think it shows off on the bottle the way it looks on the nail, so that's going to stay. This is cute. I'm going to give it, a, this is kind of new to the uh, collection, so it doesn't have a fair shot. I will say that I don't incline to the color too much, but I kind of was drawn to it, so we're going to give that a chance. Now this one looks like something I want to get rid of just because it looks like the oil or whatever is separating, but I want to keep it just because the actual color is so pretty and I'm going to try to mess with it later and still to, like, to still see, like see how that color is beautiful, it's like a pretty apricot color that I still want to mess with. I'm not ready to say bye. And of course, it's Insta Dry. But I think I'm getting rid of all my nail art because, I mean, when I first started my collection, um, this was kind of in hype. Now there's tools that you can use with any nail polish color. So I don't reach for it anyways. So that's bye. I love this red, it's such a summery, juicy type of red so pretty this is a really pretty red I don't incline to red anything lipsticks or anything like that but um, I like it it's a nice shimmer in there and yes I like it that's a yes I found that the pure ice formula is not the way I like it it's kind of too like watery and very sheer I don't really like it however I really like this. I got rid of, in another occasion, I had gotten rid of my other Pure Ice nail polishes because of that. But I really like this color. It's very nice for like um, the fall and the winter. So I'm going to keep it. This stays. Alright, so the next is going to be between these two. They're kind of dupes for each other, I guess. Um, but because I'm a Sally Hansen Insta Drive fanatic. We're gonna go and say goodbye to Wet n Wild. So goodbye. That one stays. Oh geez. Okay, I feel like I don't wanna like this one. I feel like I roll my eyes at it every time I see it. But it's just like, how could I not have it? However, this one seems to be the lookalike to that. Dun 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 dun. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna keep them and then this is a beautiful pink like how could you not have a pink like that in your collection especially if you're Vanessa this is one that I have on my nails super cute super similar but this one has like a shimmer in it and we're keeping the insta dries saying bye to the nail arts so okay so from this batch I've said goodbye to five nail polishes and we're keeping 15. All right, here we have my blue greens and a bit of purple collection here. And we're gonna get started. This is Sinful Colors in Wonderment. This is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Blue Away. Then you got Sally Hansen Salon Manicure in Barely Blue Bell. Sally Hansen Insta Dry Time is Money. Simple Colors in Cash Out. Insta Dry Crayola Collection in Inchworm. Ew. Then you have a green nail art. Then you got NYC in Highline Green. And then you got nail art green. This is green stem. And then you got the Insta Dry Jelly Bean Collection from Sally Hansen Green Apple. And then you have the Insta Dry Collection. Are you guys noticing a trend? I think I'm an Insta Dry girl. This one is gonna be Retail Therapy. 
And then you got Pop Arezzi in Fairy Garden. Salon Perfect in Pure Azure. And then you have Essie in Shade On. Shout out to your girl Galadis for the gift. No, I'm just kidding. This one will actually be my first out because she didn't actually give it to me. I borrowed it, never gave it back. So we will give that back to its rightful owner. You have Sally Hansen Insta Dry in Set Sale. Then you got another NYC in NY Blues. And then you got a Nail Art Blue. Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Collection in Bite Blue. And then you have Simple Colors in Endless Blue. And then you have Station in Midnight Glue. Glue. Blue. Midnight Blue. And then you have Sally Hansen Color Therapy in Therapeuter. Finger Paints in Meet Me at the Met. And then you have L'Oreal, such a pretty black with shimmer in it, in rough around the edges. And then we have a black nail art. Wow, that's like, it's choosing to leave on its own. Which regardless, that's what we were gonna do. So, there you go. This one's a keeper, super like it. I don't know, I, I feel like I wanna think about this one. This one's a keeper. Um, I feel like I don't ever use it, but it's like so such a pretty color to have, but I don't use it. Okay, I'm gonna think about these. I don't know. Endless blue. Um, yes. Yes. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of the nail art. I'll keep that one. This has kind of dried out. So we're gonna say bye to set sale. It's gonna set sale. I don't really reach for this one too much. So we're gonna say bye to that one. This one's kinda cute, so that's a keeper. This one's still looking pretty nice. So we'll keep that. I super like that green. Nail out, nail art, goodbye. This green is a nice green. We'll hang on to that a little more. I think I bought this one for the hype and for the different that it is, but I think because it's so different, I don't reach for it too much. And it's kind of sad. It breaks my heart. It's a newer collection. It's the only one from the Crayola collection that I purchased. Um, not even the name is cute, honestly. So Inchworm is going to inch its way out. Sinful colors. Yes, this is cute. Yes. 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 And this is dry. I think it's funny how this one's not as dry as this one, but this is gonna go. That leaves us back at these. I don't reach for them. So, I don't reach for these, and I've decided to say goodbye. This is what we're left with. We started off with 24 and now we are left with 13. And there you have it, our nail polish declutter done with. I'm gonna be honest, I thought I would get rid of more, but I'm, I just said five to 18 nail polishes. Um, but I mean, I do like what I kept. So <laughs> there's that, that was the video. I want to hear from you guys. If you guys liked this video, give this video a thumbs up to continue watching our vlogs, to continue just keeping up with Manny and I. Make sure to subscribe and also comment down below. I am just curious, how many nail polishes do you own? Alright friends, thank you guys for watching and until the next time, bye!